Hey guys, this is Typhorus Reacts, and I'm back to react to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 3, Hidden Inventory 3. Okay, who knows how long they're gonna be keeping up with the Hidden Inventory title, but, eh, whatever. Um, I watched JoJo, there's a lot of, like, like, just, the name is just for multiple parts, especially in the manga. Like, I think Dio's world was, like, what, seven parts long? <laughs> But anyway, basically what happened last time, um, Gojo and Ghetto are, you know, kind of like need to get this one girl to, you know, become the new Tengen or whatever. I, I can't remember the exact, like, I, I can't even remember her name. That, let, let me put it that way. I can't remember exactly how that works, but like, you know, she's going to replace that guy before he evolves too far into a god or something like that. A bunch of evil guys are trying to stop that from happening because they want that guy to become a god. And, and of course, but of course, like, there's the one guy, Toji, who's, like, Megami's dad, like, Fushigoro's dad from season, you know, season one. Apparently, he's using all those guys to, like, you know, wear down Gojo and, and Ghetto to an extent, but mostly Gojo because he's Gojo. And, yeah, that's what's happening. And apparently, like, oh, yeah, the girl's maid got captured at the very end of the episode. Well... I guess we'll see how that happened, because last we saw her, she was with Ghetto. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, I don't really have anything else I can say to that, so let's just jump right in already. And we'll start things up in 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, suddenly the ocean. Yeah, there's there's the girl. That, 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 that's a phone buzzing. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, are we going to see actually what happened, or? Rico, okay, yeah, that, that, that's her name, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Fair enough, but that's going to depend on what Rico wants. Does <laughs> they do kind of have to take orders from her? <laughs> Hmm. Great. And now things got complicated. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, okay, she says the same thing. Okay, that works. <laughs> I want to go home. We'll just ignore you. Fair enough. <laughs> you wanted this, kid. You're you're coming along. Oh my god. What is happening now? It can't be an anime if we don't have a beach episode. What? What is happening? Uh, uh okay. <laughs> Alright then. And now we got the opening. Hmm. Every, every time I, every time I look at the start of this opening, I can't help but, but feel like, oh, this cut, I, is this, 
I can't help but feel like I, I hadn't seen the opening before, but of course I've seen the opening before. It's just every time I, the opening starts, I'm like, did I see this? <laughs> but yeah, all right. I mean, it's a, it, it's a banger of an opening. I'll give it that. All right, back to the episode. Because all of a sudden we're at a beach. Like, so they just... Wait, we just... We just skipped over the whole rescue process? Like, I, th I thought this was going to be a big deal. Uh, uh, uh okay, I got... I, I guess it wasn't a big deal. All right. He has good eyes. Oh, yeah, because cursed spirits are are invisible to regular humans, so, yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. They got they got backup? Okay, yeah. Well, that's Nanami. Oh. Hi. I don't know who you are, but like <laughs> I see nothing has changed. I think the only thing that changed was that now he's got sunglasses. But <laughs> I guess the haircut too, but like still. <laughs> to the bone. Oof. In his own way, right, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh. So he, he literally just solved this whole thing of... That's it. Uh... He's solving this whole sleeping issue with, it's simple, I don't sleep. <laughs> you can tell he's a college, he's college age. <laughs> No, it's just Gojo being Gojo. Nanami should know, if he, if he knows Gojo at least. But at this point he's like, Ugh. <sighs> Hmm. 
All right. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, okay, now, now it's an aquarium. Yeah, whale sharks are neat. I'm just waiting for something to go horribly wrong, because that, that, that tends to be how these prequels go. Like, something has to go horribly wrong, and, 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 that, and that's why we're in the sucky situation we are in Season 1. <laughs> if you call the situation nowadays sucky, but eh, whatever. What did I say? Oh. Got him, actually. Oh. Well, I know I know he's going to be fine, but, like... Huh. Okay, and just like that, I think Gojo might be out of the fight, simply because, yeah, he got hit. <laughs> Quite a deadly hit by the looks of things. I mean, come on. Hmm. He's got good eyes. Notice me standing by. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's why he wore him down. Simply so he can drop his curse technique, the infinity, and get a hit on him. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Ah, it's just, it's just a fatal chest wound. It's fine. <laughs> hmm. Okay, then. Safety pin through an... Oh, okay, that's that's fine, I guess. It, it's literally just a flesh wound. He He's literally like, that is just a flesh wound. Not gonna lie, I I thought he stabbed the maid at first, but I, I guess, but like, I, it, it makes sense to go after Gojo. Oh. Good spirit going wrong. Hmm. All right. Ah. Right, yeah. So, yeah, so basically he was, yeah, he was playing 5D chess with that. It was never about the bounty. He's the one who set the bounty. I mean, come on. Oh. 
Hmm. Zero cursed energy. Like, like Maki? Like, I, I know Ma Maki can only use cursed weapons, so... But she's still, like, wearing glasses to, you know, see cursed spirits and stuff like that, but still. This, this guy's not wearing glasses, so... He, I mean, it's not like he needs them to face these guys, but... Oh, he, he, he calls, he calls Goto to stutter to a stop, ooh. Basically, you know it's a big deal if Gojo is getting nervous, and I know this is like a very young Gojo. Not, not very young, but still young. Oh, there's blue, which... Let's see. Let's see if this doesn't go... Okay. Let's see if this goes like it did with red, but... I, I guess not. Blue. All right. It, he's basically, It's basically planetary devastation from Naruto. Got it. <laughs> A lesser version, but still. Oh! Well, that's fun. Yeah, he, so he just made his own cover, basically. Yeah, and... Oh, oh, he's already there. Hmm. Oh. And it broke through infinity. So we know Gojo's fine, but like, Oh, but, that, like, what do you expect from all these fatal wounds that he's getting? <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so how is Gojo still alive today? Inverted Spear of Heaven. Forced release of any active techniques. Huh. Well then. So, um... This is quite the situation, because even though Gojo most like, st I mean, we know Gojo survives this. It's just now, yeah, um, he's, he's basically been in incapacitated, for lack of a better word, and, oh boy. Aww. Aww. Hmm. Say, so, yeah, uh, uh, wild guess the maid is going to die. Kuroi, whatever. I might as well call her by her name, I know it. Hmm. Let's keep it. 
Oh, the star, ooh. Those invited are able to enter it. Ooh. Simulation, okay. Erasing, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Meek. We will guarantee your future. Huh. Hmm. 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 Well, this is certainly quite the thing. Just choosing not to complete this mission, but... Oh! Oh! You know, I had a bad feeling when the, when the other subtitle for this episode was Premature Death. Oh, boy. And... Alright, Geto versus Toji, here we go. But the episode's almost over, oh no. Hmm. Oh, and that's the end of the episode. Just... <laughs> just shoot... Just shoot Amanai in the head, and then... <laughs> Trying to ki try to con and basically told Ghetto, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I killed Gojo, and now, now Ghetto's about to go on a rampage. We'll see how that goes. Um, considering what Toji is capable of, especially with that knife that can basically force to force to close like all release techniques and y yeah, um, all well, curse techniques, I should say. Um, yeah, uh. <laughs> So, I know, like, the show loves to not pull its punches. I learned that from Jujutsu Kaisen, like, season one. I've, I've since learned that, yeah, the show is not afraid to kill people. <laughs> like, if they're a side character, like, e even, like, big-time shonen don't like killing just about anyone, and when they do, it's presented as a really big deal, like, um, 
I know, like, I haven't gotten to Neji's death in Naruto, but it is presented as a really big deal. Neji's dead. Ne basically, just to kind of give you the feeling that nobody's safe, and they so they make a big deal out of a singular death. And I think they did that for Jiraiya, too, but, but considering, like, how mentors in anime go, like, usually the mentor just doesn't survive one way or the other. But it's it's by a side character that you just kind of don't expect to die, but then they die, and oh man, this is a big deal. I learned that Jujutsu Kaisen does not like doing that. Jujutsu Kaisen will just kind of go, oh yeah, that that character, yeah, just dead. Do doesn't make a big deal out of it. Like the main character will kind of make a big deal out of it. Like um, like like I said last season with um, dang it, the the guy with like. The guy, like, Mahito was corrupting, and but Yuji also befriended, and... Yeah, I, I forgot his name, but... Yeah, like, I thought, like, hey, he's gonna be... He's probably gonna be a pretty big deal. I mean, he was in the opening, after all. No, they just killed him. Like, like Mahi, Mahito just turned him into a cursed spirit, and that was it. Yeah. Like, it's... It's kind of refreshing, honestly, that, that the the author's not... She's not afraid to pull punches and, you know, just kill someone just because they can. <laughs> As we can see now, but who knows what this is going to mean because, you know, now Tengen's going to evolve into a god, supposedly. <laughs> we need to stop him from becoming Metal Greymon, is, is, as Gojo so aptly put it. But yeah, I've been prattling off for way too long. I'm... Who knows, I, it, what's the next, I don't know what the next episode's called, so I'm just gonna, like, um, yeah, um, let's see, no, okay, come on, I just, just wanna, I just, I just wanna know what the next episode's called, because, alright, um, just a second, um, just, just so I can, like, stop recording now, and, okay, it's just hidden, hidden inventory for, what else did I expect? <laughs> But yeah, um, I think we might actually be bringing to a close the prequel soon? The prequel portion of this arc soon? We might. Not sure. Like, this is... This whole thing is feeling like a finale, but maybe there's, like, an aftermath portion, and just some whole other stuff. Maybe ten, maybe they're going to actually have to fight Tengen, like Ghetto, Ghetto said. But yeah, anyway, next time I'm going to react to Season 2, Episode 4, Hidden Inventory 4. <sighs> All right, anyway, I got nothing else to say, so I'm just going to end the video here. So, yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.